Do you have someone in your life who's a Swifty, but you don't know what to get them for Christmas? Then this video is for you! Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellie, aka All Too Swift, and I upload videos about all things Taylor Swift, and sometimes more. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys ideas for your Christmas list that are all Taylor Swift themed. If you're new here, you should definitely subscribe because I upload videos every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern and you don't wanna miss out on my content because it's pretty darn cool if you ask me. Before we get started, I want you to comment down below a Christmas tree emoji because comments really help with the algorithm and all that. So if you wanna be helpful, go comment a Christmas tree emoji. Give this video a thumbs up so that other people can find it as well. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. The easiest thing to ask for for Christmas is vinyls and CDs. Obviously, Taylor has 11 albums plus re-recordings. So basically, there's a lot of content to work with there. If you are someone that collects vinyls or CDs, holidays specifically can be a really good time to work on building those collections. Just because then, one, you don't have to spend the money. And two, if someone wants to buy you a gift and they want to spend money on you, they can get you something that's actually going to be useful to you and is going to contribute to your collection. Next thing is merch. So obviously, anything from her online merch store is going to be perfect for literally any Swifty. They are a little bit pricey though. So one thing that I found is there are a ton of cute sellers on Etsy that sell super cute merch. Honestly, a lot of my favorite Taylor Swift merch things that I have are from Etsy. I have this one sweater that I wear sometimes where it has the names of her albums, but it's like little books on a bookshelf. It's my favorite thing ever, and it's from Etsy. The thing that I love about shopping on Etsy is that it allows you to support small businesses, not just contributing to people that are already rich. You're literally helping small business creators who are just trying to pursue their hobby and passion and make a little cash from it. C is also generally a lot cheaper than Taylor's site, so I highly, highly recommend looking for things on Etsy. Sellers on Etsy are also super creative and they're super good at finding things that are more subtle merch versus a lot of the things on Taylor's store are very in your face like Taylor Swift, but if you want something that's a lot more subtle, especially like jewelry or even like shirts and sweatshirts and things like that, there are so many cute things that you can find. Next thing that I recommend asking for is books. So obviously the Eras Tour book is a Target exclusive that's coming out on Black Friday. It'll be in stores in Target on Black Friday, but it will be sold on the Target website the next day, which is that Saturday, the 30th. So I highly recommend asking for that. This one is one that I don't want to wait for, so I'm going to be spending my own money and buying it for myself just because, you know, I have a big girl job and I can buy things. But if you are younger and you really, really want this, but you don't have your own source of income, I highly recommend asking for it for Christmas. Next up is The Swifty Story. So so this is one of the books that I've written. It is available on Amazon, so if you want it, it's on Amazon. You can find it there. But basically, it has contributions from Swifties all over the world about what Taylor means to them and how important she is to them. And it's just a really good way to kind of reflect and see how Taylor has impacted people's lives. It was originally written as a gift for Taylor, but it's kind of become a lot more than that. So if you want to partake in that, I highly recommend The Swifty Story. Along with that, Our Songs is basically The Swifty Story's little sister, but this is kind of a similar idea, but I asked people to share with me the most meaningful Taylor Swift songs to them and why those songs are meaningful, and I compiled them into a book. This one is also on Amazon, and this one is really fun too because it's interactive, and so there's a part at the end where you can put in your most meaningful songs. So there's 13 different prompts for you to write about, and there's also a part for you to record your Eras Tour experience or what you wish your Eras Tour experience would be. There's different games and quizzes and things. There's a spot where you can write your own song. There's so many things. So this one is not only a book that you can read, but it's also an activity book, and I think that makes it a perfect gift. Also, they're both just really, really cute to display because friendship bracelets and just very Swifty-ish. There's also, I don't know if you guys know the series of books, but you know like the Who Was books with like the covers that have like the big heads of people? So there's a Who Is Taylor Swift book that recently came out and it's super cheap too. So especially if you're younger because those are generally for younger reading levels around elementary school, but I highly recommend those because I think they're super interesting, the Taylor Swift ones specifically, but if there are other celebrities or historical people that you want to learn about, I highly recommend that series. There's also also, the Taylor Swift style book that just came out. So if you don't know, there's this girl, her name's Sarah, and she has an Instagram account where she posts literally every time Taylor wears an outfit, she figures out 
where the different parts of the outfit were from, how much they cost, what website she got them from, what brands, all that stuff. And she posts them and she analyzes them. And she actually created a book that is literally all about Taylor's fashion and how it's evolved through the years. And I think it's so cool. I do not have this book yet, but I really, really want it because I think it would be so fascinating to read. And she put so much work into it. So I highly recommend that book as well. And then just in general, if you go on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or anything, there are so many just like 101 facts about Taylor Swift. Did you know Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift quiz book. All kinds of stuff. So if you're looking for something fun like that, those are also a ton of different options. In terms of other items, I highly recommend getting some beads for friendship bracelets. This is a pack that I recently got on Amazon. It was so cheap. It was literally like five bucks. So I wanted to be able to make bracelets at college, so I got beads. So now I can do that. But beads are so inexpensive and they're really fun. You can make them with your friends. You can make them by yourself. They give you something to do. And I highly recommend if you don't know what to get a Swifty for Christmas, get them beads and just charms and stuff to make friendship bracelets with. Because even though the Eras Tour is ending, we love our bracelets and we will be making them until the end of time. My phone literally just fell down, so sorry if the positioning of the video is off. But another thing that you can get for your Swifty for Christmas is stickers. I personally love stickers so much. I have them on the back of my laptop, but I'm not going to show you because my phone is like propped up on there and I don't want to like ruin my configuration. But you can see I have them on my water bottle. Don't mind the ice rattling around in there. I need my water to be ice cold. But I have them on my water bottle and I always get compliments whenever I go places because people notice them and they're like, oh my gosh, you're a Swifty. I love your stickers. And it's so much fun and it's such a good way to make new friends. Highly recommend stickers. They're also super inexpensive. You can get like gigantic packs on Amazon for super cheap. Another thing is just friendship bracelets. So not only can you get people beads, however, you could also get them bracelets, especially if you're looking for something that's on the cheaper side and a little bit more DIY based. You can make them bracelets if you know their favorite songs their favorite albums, even favorite lyrics that they have. It's a super good way to make something super personal that's also super inexpensive, but means a lot to the person. So I highly recommend gifting bracelets. And then the last thing is just anything that kind of reminds you of Taylor, even if it's not like specifically Taylor themed. So for example, I have this mug. It's a little cat. I keep my extra change in it. Something like this would be super cute because it's kind of tailorish, but it's not like super tailorish. And also anything glittery, shiny, anything with disco balls, cause you know, mirror ball, that whole thing. Anything that just seems tailorish. Because honestly, Swifties look for tailor references and everything. It's gonna mean a lot to that person that you noticed that it was kind of tailorish and thought of them and thought they would like it. Because personally, I feel like the best gifts are always the ones that show that you put thought into it. So as long as you pick something that shows that you put thought into it and you thought about the fact that they like Taylor Swift, you'll be good. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this gave you some good ideas for Taylor Swift themed Christmas gifts. Let me know in the comments down below what other gifts you can think of that you are adding to your Christmas list because I am so curious to know. The biggest thing that I'm asking for on my Christmas list this year is a tattoo because I really, really want to get a tattoo, but they're super expensive. So I'm hoping that my mom will pay for my tattoo so I don't have to. But yeah, let me know down below what you are asking for for Christmas because I would love to know and love to get some inspiration for things I can get for my friends. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already because you made it to the end of the video. So you obviously enjoyed and I upload videos like this every single week. So you don't want to miss out. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have the bestest day ever because you are so amazing and wonderful and smart and talented and beautiful and lovely. And yeah, bye guys. Thank you.